Big hit him on the full, going straight in the middle and leg stump. And South Australia now in a bit of trouble. 15 overs in to their innings, 5 for 99. They still require 217 runs from the remaining 28 overs, the revised Duckworth Lewis system. And the bowling numbers, Laurie, three wickets to Jason Berendorf. Yeah, he's had a good day, one each to Green and Ty. So WA well on top in this Marsh Cup season opener live from Karen Rolt Noble. Hope you're enjoying our coverage, particularly if you're in the West. You'll be enjoying the, the news coming through from here. You've got the grand final on uh, in Melbourne, uh, from Melbourne, sorry, in uh, three days' time as well. So everything's cock a hoop over there in WA. So we're back live now. 26 overs to go. The Redbacks need a lot of runs as Green comes in. Carey taken high on the pad there. So it's going to be up to Alex Carey to probably get 250 here, I think. Maybe, or 200 to get the Redbacks over the line. That's unlikely, but they've got to uh, try and prevent W getting a, I think a double bonus point here. I think that's going to be the key target and then just see what they can get after that. But uh, Carey, who's obviously not in that T20 World Cup squad, he'll be looking to make some points to the selectors get himself a big hundred here the pitch is playing very well a little bit uppish there but, uh, no, an opportunity for Kerber and uh, still the a little bit of batting with Nathan McAndrew who's been batting well in the, the practice games uh, next in as well yeah well, Wes Agar was saying uh, a few days ago that basically his trial runs have been outstanding hasn't hit a score under 50 and pretty much striking at 100 or if not more in each of those knocks so McAndrew will be a little highlight reel, if anything, and Cal Ferguson, teammate of his formerly at Sydney Thunder, will tell you about that. Can't find the gap on this occasion. Carey. To the offside. Cameron Green will be happy to get a wicket too. He bowled a lot of overs last year for Australia and mm. test matches. Couldn't get a wicket. Bought a bit in the uh, Marsh Cup as well last season for Western Australia as well. I don't think he took a wicket in the One Day Cup last year. No, no, he didn't. He bowled uh, 25 overs and didn't get a wicket. Mm. So, uh, bowled a lot. Bowled with a lot of success. But he's got one wicket today. He won't get one with that ball. Nicely played out towards cover. So disappointment for some of the newer players for South Australia with the bat today. McSweeney out for just one. Gibson out a short time ago. LBW without scoring. You want to make a first impression on the team at this level on match day. Make a globe, especially for Ryan Gibson. He'd be a little bit flat. He played it to the deep. Short, rushing around, and it's through him for four. So another boundary for Alex Carey. Nine fours now as he moves on to 59. He's just been saying a lot of these shots he's been putting to the boundary are just really nice timing, and that one again crunched it straight out of the middle. Just unfortunately, a bit of a fielding error. Couldn't quite get settled and get down low enough to take the ball in the hands through the legs. 100 up also for the Redbacks. Pulled just short of the man at deep backward square leg. Again, Carey. Just helping it on, on its way rather than trying to hit it out of the ground. Five for 104 now off 16 overs. Just repeating the target, 316 off 43. We lost half an hour back a little while ago. So, there's the, the Redbacks camp. Daniel Worrell on the left there. Jack Liam's got the beanie on. He's been named in the Shield squad for uh, Friday's game. Kane Richardson, two wickets today, did pretty well. They'll be uh, quite keen to sit in the sheds there for a little bit longer yet as Ty continues his spell. And beats him outside of the off stump. Well, that's been the bread and butter for Alex Carey for most of this day. Yeah, that beautiful cover drive of his and just missed a swing and miss on that occasion. He's really enjoyed those ones off a bit of a slightly full length what Ty does quite well as he changes up the pace he also changes up that line and length constantly making it difficult pulls that one again 
backward of square leg. Well, the uh, rare noise is coming from the direction of the hospital today. Normally get the odd chopper landing, but we've got an ambulance about to propel itself onto North Terrace. One so those things flying, being right next door to the hospital in the city, you get <laughs> traffic and the peak hour, and there you've got the people rushing in and out of the hospital as well. So again, Kirby digs that one out. Yeah, well, I think they're probably saving the choppers for the shield game. We normally <laughs> I reckon last year on one occasion we might have had three or four choppers in the space about three or four hours. So busy day for them. bringing people in, perhaps in the country areas that need a little bit of extra help from the regions. So five for 105 in the 17th over. SA. Ty doing a good job here at the moment. On toes there of defence. Of course, Kerber. Last shield game last year. Had a couple of Marsh Cuppers. Did well in that shield game. 55 and 33. Took three for 92 as well. As we look at the offside field, they obviously think he's got a, a strength through that uh, square region on the offside. Two men back on the leg side. So 6 3 offside field. So plenty of singles on offer on the leg side with just that wide mid on Jason Berendorf. Quite able to get it square enough to get a single on that occasion. Finds the fielder there. This is where Kerb has got to try and feed the strike here to his more experienced partner in Alex Carey, who's been rocking along 61 off 53 deliveries it's really up to Kerber here to try and just turn the strike over for that man there Alex Carey doesn't want to lose his rhythm or his momentum at the moment dominated the scoring in this inning so far and he's got that one away but he's going to keep the strike it's the last ball of the over which won't upset the West Aussies a single from that ball two off the over so 17 overs completed here and it's now five for 106. Carey on 61, Kerber on six. Men out, Weatherall for 14, Head for 19, McSweeney one, Nielsen five, Gibson unfortunately out for a duck today. Earlier on, Josh Phillippe 137, his maiden one day 100 for WA. Mitch Marsh, his third century, 111. Six for 352. And a good afternoon to Callum Ferguson. How are you, mate? Very well. Loz, so, although I'm a little bit disappointed um, being a South Australian myself. Yeah. So a little bit biased, but um, yeah, it's it's. I'm not too bad, thank you. Green. What about Kerber here? Just needs to get singles, doesn't he? Just to get himself into the game, into the innings, and uh, get uh, A. Carey back on strike. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he just needs to be busy, um, try to work some gaps, manipulate his hands a little bit to allow himself to get up the other end and hopefully allow um, from a South Australian point of view Alex Carey to keep some momentum going but the Western Australians have been fantastic in the field and also with the ball so far. Hey. South Australians really got away to a bit of a flyer and uh, the Western Australians have found a way back into the into the game. They've, they've managed to take a few wickets and then They've bowled really, really well to the to the new batters as they've come out. So they're just, um, yeah, just just pressuring the South Australians at the moment into making mistakes. Green from the hospital end, and that's hit firmly. Just the one run out to point, but he's found a single there off the third ball. And Fergie, I'm going to give you a bit of notice here. Okay. I'm going to get you to just analyse some of the dismissals, perhaps at the end of the over, if we've got time. Right just yep. give us a few thoughts as a, mm -hmm. the leading run getter in uh, one day cricket for South Australia in this sort of cricket. 4,085 runs at 40 have opened the batting in recent times as well. So you know what it's like not just to bat in the middle order, but to come in early on. Leg side worked away. WA won't be too upset with a single to carry this stage another player having trouble with their shoelaces today or is there a bit of mud in his spike got a bit of a problem with his spike there hey Carey well, a little bit of mud there but the front foot just the old spike got a little bit loose in the 
loop there. Yeah, this wicket does get uh, a bit slippery. It hardens up nicely on top, so if you get any sort of mud in your spikes, you, you've got to be trying to run off the wicket so you don't slide around. Across the bowl. Clink. Gets the stumps of the bowls in. Got the sound effects mic in the stump there, do we, today? It was just turned up a little bit higher for that delivery. Mm. for 108. Six off tw seven off 12 here, Kerber. Last ball, the over. Pops it up in the offside. He's going to get one. Ago will chase, so three off the over. And it's five for 109 off of 18. Now, let's have a look at these dismissals, Ferg. Um, firstly, Weatherall. Who's um, out with the score on... 27. Here we go. Let's have a look, Ferg. I'll, I'll hand it to you. Yeah, look, it looks like looks like there he was looking to use his feet down the wicket and, and create a length and uh, was keen to get on with it a little bit. Travis Head uh, just hit it a bit flat. Didn't go one way or the other to hit it over the top or along the ground. Uh, McSweeney actually looked like he was trying to go over the top um, and just didn't get enough of it. And then Harry Nielsen trying to run one down to third man to get up the other end and, and unfortunately was brought undone. Uh, and it looks like Ryan Gibson just didn't pick up the, the ball too well at all uh, and missed a full toss that was hammering into middle and leak by the look of it there. So disappointing for the Redbacks. Uh, looks like the execution wasn't quite there in a few of those, in a few of those dismissals. Uh, I did as well as I could there, Loz, with a very quick run through, one one replay of each one. But, nah, it was uh, good. That's what we wanted. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, it looks like uh, just with a, a bit of pressure and good bowling to new batters as they came to the crease, uh, they were forced into a few errors and, and were in, looking like they were in a, a bit of a hurry to get going. There you go, changing bowling. Goes for the sweep straight away. Does Kerber. Didn't look at him. Just thought, right, that's going to go, but uh, no contact made. Another example of what you're talking about, Ferg, there. Yeah, I'd, although with spin, I am keen to see guys trying to score and, and make sure they don't allow the spinner to just settle on them, so I'm okay with that. 19th over. Gets that one to point. 8 off 15 now. Sam Kerber in this inning so far. Hit a nice boundary early off tie. Single sense. I think that sweep was an attempt to get up the other end and allow Alex Carey to get on strike. Reverse. Gets it off the toe and they'll get a run. So done the job there to turn it over. Off the third ball of the over. Ashton Agar's real strength is being able to run in and, and make you earn your earn your runs. And when he does allow is allowed to get into a bit of a rhythm, he doesn't miss too often. Um, so it, it will require players to be quite proactive to him, um, which is an attribute of any good spinner. You know, forcing the play, uh, the batsman to make the play, and that's one thing he does really, really well. Ashton Agar. It's that one in the air, straight down the ground. That's a good shot, and that will run away to the rope. So Carey, his tenth four, and he moves on to 66. I think the impressive thing about that shot was the way he stayed in the shot, even though he was nowhere near the pitch of the ball. He stayed in the shot and just put the full face of the bat through it. Really, really nicely. That's a very difficult shot. Standing in his crease, the ball was nowhere near a half volley length. His ability to hold his shape was impressive. Shot down to long on. I must admit, I, I'm a fan of him playing down the ground. He, he's developed into this sort of player who loves to play those reverse sweeps early on and, and take the bowler on. But with two men back with a point, I just wonder if the risk is worth the reward sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. The game's about risk and reward, and uh, certainly. You know, with two guys there and then a back, almost a backward deep point as well. The reward's probably not quite there for the reverse sweep at the moment. Kerber gets that one away. Can they get to the Redbacks? They're running quickly. Not quite there. Cameron Green moving quickly. So seven off that over. It is now five for 116 after 19 overs. So the target to win is exactly 200. And there are 24 overs to go. So a little bit over eight runs per over. Or victory, WA, well, will be on off some sort of bonus point scenario. Potentially, uh, if they can bowl the Redbacks out for 158 or less, they can get a double, which would be just a massive uh, first game win for them. 
One thing I will say is Alex Carey's just about capable of anything and he's still a top four player. And if you get a top four player to make 100, you're in the game. Kerber does well there. Gets it back with a point. Comes back for the second. Good throw. It's great running. And great running as well. Quite right. Berendorf there. Immaculate throw over the top of the stumps. But uh, Kerber growing in confidence now up to 12. With those two runs. Mitchell Marsh and he's caught behind little Nick and he's on his way so picked up the two runs the ball before and Mitchell Marsh the captain has a wicket and the Redbacks now six down well that's another Redbacks player unfortunately nicking one through to the keeper trying to run the ball down to third man it just bounced a little bit on him and that's something that Mitch Marsh does bring to the table he, he does bowl quite over the top and and can find that little bit of extra bounce as we saw over in the West Indies and uh, in Bangladesh. So that's a huge wicket for Western Australia. Obviously, uh, with Alex Carey flying at one end, uh, they would have been hopeful to keep the rotating door at the other end to keep the pressure on Carey. But uh, unfortunately for South Australia, they've lost another one, and that's Sam Kirby gone for 12. 6 for 18, 20th over. Nathan McAndrew hopping out into the middle. He's been impressive with the bat in the uh, pre-season trial game. Some handy scores, 72 off 45, 47 off 40, 66 off 64. Bowled pretty well earlier today in his uh, first game for the West End Redbacks. 10 overs, 1 for 70, getting the wicket of Josh Inglis. And uh, we're going to need some big hitting from him if the Redbacks are going to make a game of this from here. Down to the last recognised batsman with the men to come. Worrell, Richardson and Agar, although all three can hold a bat, it has to be said. And the run rate up around eight per over. So Kerber out for 12. 19 balls. One four. Carey 67, not out at the moment. 56 deliveries. Mitchell Marsh, 14 runs off his first over. Bouncing back in his second. With a wicket second ball. Again, Mitch Marsh slip in place to uh, Callum on a gully. Mm. It's good aggressive captaincy. Whilst it's a very good wicket, I think with that extra little bit of bounce that we've seen a few of the Western Australian fast bowlers, bowlers, and they are tall fast bowlers as well. There's some of the extra bounce that they've been able to extract has brought the red backs batsman undone, and I think that first slip's a good option with that little bit of extra bounce. So we'll see if it comes into play. WA. They've got plenty of tall options. They've got plenty of options full stop, haven't they? They do. Um, I mean, you're not going to see Sean Marsh bowl much today. You're not going to see Josh Phillippe bowl much today, but they've still got Darcy Short if they want a, a bit of a spin option. And Ashton Turner, we saw him, saw him bowl a little bit in the West Indies on some of the turning tracks there. So it's good to see Turner's actually back bowling. He had a long period where he couldn't bowl. Mm. I must admit, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised they haven't gone to an off spinner to Alex Carey at some point. I thought they might have tried that at some at some stage earlier. Obviously pulled around. It's Andrew off the mark. Yes, well, Turner's probably the man there for that job, isn't he? Well, he's in good bowling form, too. He bowled quite well for the Aussies in some of the T20s recently. Uh, but, you know, if, you, if you're looking at the scoreboard at the moment, you can't really say they've put a foot wrong. Uh, Obviously, the Redbacks got away to a good start early, but you know, looking back now, you might think that a bit of drizzle that came over across the ground early on in this innings might have just aided in the ball striking. So a single there to retain the strike. So three off that over and a wicket. It's now six for 118 off 20 overs. Yeah, Ashton Turner got a little bit in the six, uh, sorry, in the second ODI. Uh, Town. and while we're thinking about that let's have a look at the state of the game so WA earlier today 6 of 352, Philippi 137 off just 116 Marsh 111 124, two wickets each to Richardson and Agar and in reply it's only been a one man show for the Redbacks with Alex Carey on 67 
six down for 119, the latest score here. So, the work ahead of the Redbacks. And Karen Rolton over there, match one of the Marsh Cup for the 21-22 season. I think if you were to use one word to describe the performance of the Western Australians so far, it'd be professional. I think they did some really hard yards against the new ball when asked to bat first on a wicket that had a little bit of moisture in it. And the method that they, in which they went about that innings was just first class. Agar. Andrew does well there, gets a single. And two. Long off, yeah, I'd have to concur. I think if you were a captain, you had to bowl first this morning. When you look at the pitch early, a little bit on the damp side. Marsh. Philippi played very well to put on 200, but they did the hard work in those first 10 or 12 overs. The ball was really swinging, uh, Callum. Yeah, they did, and, and I thought throughout the innings as well, when the bowling was good, they they just dug in and, and played good cricket shots, and then when the option was there with some loose bowling, they took they took it down. So. Ah! There's a big appeal from Agar and Inglis turned down. No, not a bad shout, that, actually. Mm. I don't know if it was bounce that was uh, the problem there, but uh, let's have a quick look at it. I think that might have been the answer they just got. Ooh, it's close, though. It's a lot closer than uh, he was given credit for as he goes downtown over long off, and it's just short of the rope, I reckon. No, he's called it all the way, umpire. Graham Smith, so it's carried, and Carey hits his first six of the game. Just a lovely controlled shot, much in the same vein as we saw from Josh Philippi. A little bit of room to the leg stump coming down the wicket, and lovely control of the bat face. Wide of long off for six, and that's just good, smart batting, controlled batting. Good cricket shot. Absolutely. Fine shot. So they go four in the previous over, back over his head. Flatter one. Now you've got to be looking to get a single off the last ball there over here, Carey. Might see the, the lap sweep come out, I think. Try and get it to 45 for, for a one. Bit of lappage. Quicker one, and that's beautifully called by CJ Ferguson. Down to deep backward square leg. So Carey keeps the strike with that run. Moves up to 74. 20 overs completed, six down for 127. And after a bit more of Ferg, well, let's hear from Paul Bonza back in commentary. Just as Bonza's coming in now, I just feel like it's been a, a professional performance, not just with the bat, as I alluded to earlier, but with the ball as well. South Australian batsmen really did get off to a flyer and, and tried to cause a little bit of chaos and the Western Australian bowlers really did hold their nerve. Mitch Marsh Marsh. continues. Yeah. Sorry, Big. That's okay. Mitch Marsh comes in and he's beautifully driven through the offside by Alex Carey. Just square of short cover and Darcy Short tidies up out at deep cover. But the Western Australians really did have some questions asked of them early on, Bonds, and uh, they've responded beautifully. They were under the pump. There was... A lot of boundaries being hit by Carey and then head and, and they've bounced back really well, kept their head in the game, stuck to their game plan and, and put a lot of pressure on the new batters as they've come in. This one square driven by Carey. Getting this protection there, so just a couple. Yeah, they've uh, been the better team all game, batted beautifully. Back of uh, three wickets from Berendorf. Basically destroyed the top order of the South Australians. Marsh. You start of the season, you, you look at both teams on paper and you when you saw the Western Australian side, you thought, yeah, that's a pretty strong side. It's always that hope at the start of the season. You just a couple of new guys into this lineup, Sweeney and McAndrew, and 
Yes, I want to, uh, to get off to a good start, the South Australians, but not to be so far today. Take something very special mm. to get across the line here. Exciting to watch, Fee. Yeah, potentially. I mean, if Alex Carey gets a gets a roll on at some point here, which he did early in the innings, and someone can stay at the other end and build a partnership with him, which will hopefully free him up and loosen the shackles a little bit, then we could see some fireworks later on. Nathan McAndrew can certainly hit a cricket ball, let me tell you. So, you know, if these two stay at the crease for a while, we might see something late, but uh, it's going to take something very special. Pushed into the point region for a single carry. I'm excited to see what Nathan McAndrew can bring to this Redback side in both formats throughout the summer. And obviously this is just one day, but I thought he bowled quite well at times early on. And we'll get a chance to see him with the bat for the first time today now. But um, yeah, I think he's a, a really exciting prospect for the Redbacks this season. Sure, ball keeps that down. We get a couple here. As Berendorf gets to it, a little misfield from him, but an easy two. Yeah, one for 70 off his 10 overs probably doesn't do it justice. I believe he a little bit better than that. Yeah, look, I think if you look at the the innings as a whole, though, it's about par, that. Um, yes. Obviously, with six for 352 being scored. But it was a couple of partnerships earlier on in the innings, sort of around the 15 to 25 over mark with him and Kerber. I thought... Uh, you know, he showed a fair bit in that in that spell and then came back with a decent spell where he knocked over Inglis. So I think that, you know, having another guy that can bowl a bit of pace and bat gives you good balance in your one-day side and shield, and shield side for that matter. Agar continues and worked around the corner from Kerry as the lights come on at Karen Rolt Noble for the first time. Yeah, I'm hopeful we might see some some night cricket played here in the future uh, not just with the men but with the women's team as well the scorpions and maybe the strikers as well uh, it's it's a very nice ground i think we'll get some people down to watch cricket coming in after work and even on weekends it's it's quite a nice place to be i think during the summer a bit wild and woolly in spring when you get a bit of a mix of, uh, of weather conditions but uh, certainly a nice ground to watch cricket at. Lofting over the top. Didn't get all of that. Didn't go all the way to the boundary. Picks up a couple of runs, does Andrew. So that's clearly an attempt to try and get mid off back and try and create a single for himself. You'll sometimes see players do that initially, and you might think, oh, that's reckless, but it's an attempt to try and get mid off pushed back so that they can play low risk cricket. Flatter and quicker from Agar. And if he gets mid-off push back, then he can ease the ball down, playing carpet cricket down to mid-off. So sometimes you need to take a, a half risk to create that low-risk cricket for yourself. This one swung away onto the hill. In fact, might be over the hill. That's a huge hit from McAndrew. Well, that's what he can bring. He's got a clean strike on him, Nathan McAndrew. We've seen it in the big bash with the Sydney Thunder. I'm sure the... The pre-season would have given him an opportunity to show some of that to the Redbacks, but uh, yeah, that's certainly some of the stuff we're used to seeing in the big bash from him, and that's a clean strike of the ball. And follows up with the dart. Zagar. So that six that he just hit, Bonds, that wasn't in his attempt to uh, create low-risk cricket for himself. That was just an attempt to hit six. <laughs> Pretty good attempt, too. Well, just quietly. It was successful, wasn't it? Thrown up again by Agar. And just pushed to the leg side for a single. Good batting. Ends the over. Good if uh, Nathan 
Gander in his debut for the Redbacks. Just got himself a nice little total here. Hang around with Alex, Alex Carey. Get Carey to 100. His first job. Let's keep rotating that strike. So if we look at the score now, realist, well, realistically, there is um, 28 overs to go in the game. Alex Carey's already on 78. Cut behind point for four. Growing in confidence is Nathan McAndrew. That's just a very good cricket shot. A little bit of width from Mitchell Marsh and Nathan McAndrew eases that one through backward point with a lovely controlled cut shot. Some players have the ability to cut the ball from a slightly closer line than others and Nathan's played that really well and really controlled from about a fourth, fifth stump line and, and that's a fantastic cricket shot. Side. So as I mentioned with Mitch, um, with Alex Carey being on 79 now in such an early stage of the game, if he was to bat to say the 40, 40th over, he could be on quite a sizable total. Nathan McAndrew doesn't need to do a lot more than just pick up the odd single, the odd boundary to keep things ticking over at the other end. So that's got to be the focus for them now. up and drives that to mid on well that's obviously easier said than done obviously this, the situation of the game the pressure they're under they're six down in the 23rd over however if we start looking at what they must be focusing on that's got to be it play good control cricket alex carey just play the way he plays because he's got a big score in him he made a big hundred recently and chased down 280 in about 30 overs in the trial game so seeing the ball well that's got to be the aim now take it deep Defended and some good bowling here from Mitch Marsh, that's an Australian captain. 50 overs is such a long time, Bonds. Such a long time. So these guys, if they do find themselves in at the 35th, 40th over, it'd be interesting to see um, where they're at. Now, obviously, we're chasing 316 off 43 now, which changes the, the game a little bit, but it's still a pretty similar situation. Mitch Marsh comes in and bowls a nice length ball on the top of off stump against it. McAndrew who defends well. It doesn't require the same length of time to set the innings up as it did previously. And with Alex Carey on 80 already, there's nothing to suggest that if they are both at the crease of the 35th over, this game's not still in the balance. And it's going to take a lot of hard work from here. Down leg side and called wide. Rebuild that one again. Mitch Marsh. It's going to take something special, as you said, Berg, but very entertaining to watch. Wherever you're watching on cricket, on Cricket Network or KO Sports or Sky New Zealand. Enjoying the coverage. Short ball, well over the top of that. Pulls it out to Darcy Short for one. Ends that over from Marsh. It's a nice high bounce of that from Mitchell Marsh. He up around the badge. But McAndrew now a number of times has been able to control the ball from about that height down straight into the ground before it gets past the square and pick up a one or a two. He's done it a number of times now, which shows a guy that's well in control of playing the short ball, which is nice to see. Taking all risk out of it by hitting right down over the top of it. It's good good bowling from the Western Australians. When they are bowling it, they're getting it nice and high, which is really testing out the South Australians, as we've seen a few go into the outfield for catches. And gone through him. One just held back a little bit. McAndrew tried to give it the treatment. Put it back on the hill. Might have just held in the pitch a little bit maybe, but it was excellent bowling from Agar. And another wicket down. 
for the Redbacks. They're seven for 149. I think he had it right first up there. Bonds, I reckon he just held it back a touch. Uh, and certainly was, uh, was able to get a little bit of purchase off the surface there. Uh, but unfortunately for the Redbacks, that's Nathan McAndrew gone for 18 off 17. And the Redbacks are now seven for 150. Disappointed Nathan McAndrew as he leaves Karen Rolton Oval. A few starts, Weatherall 14, Head 19, Kerber 12, McAndrew 18. No one's been able to go on except Alex Carey just keeps standing at the other end. 80 not out. And Stan Worrell, the next man in. Wearing the uh, number one last year, he's added an extra digit. Double ones, twice as good. He's got some character about him, Frankie Worrell. I'm looking forward to asking him what the, what the thought process is around doubling up that one. There you go, flat to Worrell. Western Australians have been fantastic today. They've kept the pressure on and asked the South Australians to play big shots to good balls to keep scoring, and they haven't quite been able to do that today, the South Australians. Look to the right side. Tentative early. Dan Worrell. Doesn't really have a choice now, unfortunately, though. He needs to hang around for Alex Carey to give themselves any sort of chance. I'm a very optimistic person, Bonds. It's, it's a long way away at the moment, that 316. Just 24 overs gone, I think that's the disappointing part. There's probably been some shots played that could have been left uh, left alone. It's a lonesome figure of Barat Sunder racing up on the hill there. side be signaled a wide Brat, one of the uh, chief riders cricket riders around world cricket lives in Adelaide very well respected figure around cricket these days isn't it oh. well played by Worrell ends the over from Agar There he is, Barat, tweeting away, as always. Great man. Very jealous of his hair, I am. He's a uh, fantastic human being, and a little bit of commentary on the Cricket Network as well, so we might hear him later in the season. We love Barat. Hello, Bonds, as we get. Closer toward the end of this game, three wickets in hand still for South Australia, and just seems a formality now. One small box left to tick, I think, for South Australia, though. That's get Alex Carey to 100. That's a nice strike. Following suit with what he's done for most of the day. That's really clean cricket there from Alex Carey. He's now got 11 fours for the day. So Alex's high score in Australian domestic one day cricket, believe it or not, is 99. One list 800 to his name in his career that came in a one day game. Hello guys, uh, hello guys. If you haven't liked this video, video ko like this video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You will get to see this live match in this way. That's why subscribe to our channel. And please like this video. Just 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 like this video. Just
टास्क है वो पूरा हो जाएगा और कमेंट करके जरूर बताइए कौन सी टीम जीतेगी साउथ या वेस्टर्न of two wickets for 60 runs in the last 10 overs for South Australia. They were five for 90. They've recovered okay since. A little bit of help in the middle of the order from McAndrew and Kerber. And of course, Kerry staying out there. It's a shame if uh, Kerry couldn't bring up his triple figures here. He deserves it. And the fact that he does not have a century for South Australia at this form. We've seen him do it for the strikers. We've seen him do it with the red ball for the Redbacks. That's a great shot, but it's well fielded too. Short covers dive brilliantly on it. Stops in its tracks. Ashton Turner with a brilliant dive, cutting off a certain boundary. Quality, quality bit of fielding from Ashton Turner. That was smoked. And he's not that far away from the bat there either. Still on the cut stuff. And brilliantly fielded by Ashton Turner. Save four. Well, that's the very spot that Ryan Gibson dropped a catch of Josh Philippe a little earlier on in the day. And just goes to show when they hit it so hard, it comes quick. But the reaction time to dive and stop at that speed is brilliant. Up in the air, just pops past. Worrell get off the mark. Little chance. I'm not sure if that's a cross seam or it just held up in the wicket a little. The uh, pitch conditions are changing slightly. Just out of reach there, I think, for Turner, who's jumped to the other side of the wicket as we end the over. And South Australia's score moves on just a little bit more. Seven for 159. So we're on 100 watch here for Alex Carey. He's 87. Yes. He needs a couple of players to stay with him at the moment. His batter at the other end is Frank Worrell. His skies are nice and high. Will it be hard to judge this under the overcast skies? It won't. Nice take. Ashton Turner takes the wicket there and another one falls. This time it's Dan Worrell. He goes for one. Well, the kiss of death <laughs> put on him then. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. As he yeah, just played across the line. Leading edge, straight up in the air. Ashton Turner was never dropping this. Easy as you like. Another one down for the West End Redbacks. And they're now eight for 159. So Ashton Agar with his second wicket now. And he's running out of teammates, Alex Carey, on 87. Seem to be one of the unlucky numbers. Hopefully it's not for him. Eight down South Australia. And I was just about to say before the start of the over, good news for SA. They've surpassed the 158 mark, which is the number they needed to avoid giving WA the double points for this game. Not sure that's good news, Tuggers. Well, it's only, for our South Australian it's, viewers. It's only, it's only but, some uh, good news from a very tough day, I think, for SA viewers. But WA are... No longer in the window for two points. They'll get at least one double uh, bonus point, if anything. See how well the tail wags. Kane Richardson out to the middle. It's been a top shelf performance from Alex Carey. And just 13 <laughs> runs away. So batsman crossed. Alex Carey now on strike. Face Agar. Just tucks that one away. He runs very hard as if he wants a second, but he won't. The lights on here at Karen Rolton Oval now. It's been a gloomy old day for most of it. A little bit of rain in the middle part. Stop play for about half an hour. We've now got a 43 over second innings. 100 balls exactly to go in this game. Shorter pitched. Just 
Still two to come in the over. We'll get some runs here. Two on offer for Richardson as he gets off the mark as well. Just a little bit down the league side there for Agar. Fielders go back here for Alex Carey as well. They'll push them mid on and mid off back to the boundary line. Excuse me, Richardson's still on strike. So just for the last ball, hoping to get him off strike. They don't do as such. So Carey takes up the strike for the next over. Eight for one, six one. So Alex Carey just 12 away from his... First one day 100 for South Australia. As Kane Richardson stay with him. Lights on here at Karen Rotten Oval. Just taking a little bit of effect, making it a little bit brighter. Mitch Marsh will continue. There's a bit of a change in the field. As Jason Berendorf comes up to a deep gully. And Ashton Agar back to behind point on the boundary. Get one there, Kerry. To 89. Just creep ever so slightly towards it. Now Kane Richardson's on strike, of course. They pushed all the fielders back to move him off strike there, Kerry. And now they'll bring all the fielders back in and make it tough. For Richardson to score at all. Look to take that wicket, that ninth one for the day. Wicket takers so far, Bonds. Berendorf the star with three. Ashton Agar with his five overs has pinched two. Singles to Mitch Marsh, who's bowling now. Cam Green and Andrew Ty. It's been a complete bowling performance from the Western Australians. Gary back on strike. Look to get into the 90s. So it's two Centurions already today. Josh Philippe, 137, the top scorer. His first one day 100 for the Western Australians. And Mitch Marsh, the captain alongside him, putting on an outstanding partnership of 217. He scored 111 for himself. Propelled WA to a massive target. So to 90 he goes, Alex Carey. Two hits away, Tuggers. Well, <laughs> could we dare to dream? Maybe uh, Josh Philippe inspired, perhaps. Philippe brought up his 100 quite remarkably. Three sixes in a row over mid-wicket. Defence by Richardson. Sees out some discipline bowling at the moment. So the middle order for South Australia been a little bit of a sad state of affairs the last few years and just seems to be a little bit of a thorn in the side of their progress today once again. McSweeney, Nielsen and Gibson all out for singles figures and in the top order falls. There was no support. Carey, the last man standing at this stage. 151 runs to win. It's too far away for victory. It's been disappointing again from the South Australians. They were one for 71 at one point, and then it was two for 71, three for 77, four for 85, five for 90, six for 118. And normally, in the game of cricket, when you keep losing wickets, you're going to get across the line too often. They only got ten of them. This game moves fast. End of another over. Eight for 165. 
And going by the power plays, we're getting pretty close. Another 10, or was that eight overs to go until this power play completes? And you've got eight overs left in the day for that. When we get to that stage, might not. You know, only 28 into this one. So Kerry's on strike here on 90. Sweeps. Did he connect much with that? It's going to do enough, I think. Rolling toward the rope. Pretty good save. How's the toss back to his teammate? It stays in, so finds two runs there. Bit of a messy piece of work. Bit of desperation on the boundary line. Keeps it in. Probably cost himself a run there, Alex Carey as well. <laughs> and Kane Richardson wasn't really watching. And Alex said, I'll just keep the strike anyway. No damage done. Involved. No shout required. It's good bowling. Just squared Carey mm. up a little bit. Edge out to backward point. And again, you're right. He's bowling at the body, looking to try and create some space for himself there, Kerry. Couldn't do. Change of pace from Agar today has been very good. Mixing it up. It does try to get onto that offside, Kerry, and gets away with a single. 93, the scoreboard ticks on to. Been a pretty impressive day by him as a leader. Recently named captain of the Australian one day team just for a small period while Aaron Finch was out injured on tour. We think he harnessed that opportunity and did well, but the future is still so bright for him, even though it's time may be against him. He's 30. Still feel like there's something on the other side. 30's near 25, isn't it, Tuggers? Well, Sean Marsh is 38. Plenty of cricket in front of him. Dueling ambulances here in the background. Ends the over and we'll have a drink, hey? Let's do that. We'll uh, be back straight after the drinks break. So there's the state of the innings at the moment and as you can see South Australia only a really a lone hand from Alex Carey at the moment 93 to his name no one else able to pass 20 they were one for 71 the Redbacks in the ninth over but since then it's been all one way time to look at the wickets to fall first go was Weatherald well caught by Ashton Agar at backward point for 14 off nine balls that wicket falling at 27 the Warriors have been good in field all day Travis Head then pulled one out to deep square leg. Was well caught by Darcy Short. He was out for 19 off 16. Then McSweeney. Redbacks to Boo. Liste to Boo out for one on the pull. Just inside the rope there. Well taken by Matt Kelly. Harry Nielsen had some good form last year. Couldn't repeat it today. Out for five. Little edge through to Inglis. Gibson out for a duck. Missing a pretty straight full toss there. That was five for 90. And Sam... The wickets continue to fall with Kerber next to go. Yeah, he was only for 12 runs as well. He stayed in for a little bit of some support for Alex Carey at the other end, but he edged away also. Next to go, Nathan McAndrew for 18. Clean bowl there by Ashton Agar, and Agar picked up the next and final wicket to go as well. Just sky ball there from Daniel Worrell up in the air, and pretty composed underneath it was Ashton Turner for WA. So the score as it stands, 8 for 168 after 29 overs. The bowling card is pretty good looking for WA viewers. Yeah, Berendorf got the first three wickets. Six overs, three for 27. Wicket each to Marsh, Green, Ty and Ashton Agar's picked up the last two. So WA having a good day with bat and ball and we're about to get play back underway. AJ Ty's going to bowl from the hospital end of Karen Rolton Oval and there are 14 overs left in the game and uh, 
Just shy of 150 runs required for victory. Floodlights are on here at the Rolton Oval. And Ty replacing his captain, Mitch Marsh. Ty, three overs, one for 15. Picked up the wicket of Harry Nielsen. And that's nicely driven by Carey down the ground. Can't get a run. Fielded there by Mitchell Marsh. So seven to go for a maiden century for Alex Carey. Out for 99 last year in the Marsh Cup. I think it was against New South Wales at Adelaide, Adelaide Oval. Oval. Yeah, so this is a great opportunity for him to go on with the job here. Let's just take a look at this piece of fielding here from Mitchell, St uh, Mitchell uh, Marsh, should I say. Just hit the top of middle, middle stump there. Been unexpected. Hit the top of middle stump and uh, Alex Carey happy just to whack the stumps back in. He was out caught by Jilks off Liam Hatcher for 99 last year. 114 balls in that game at Adelaide Oval. Tight. And again, another run out to deep cover point for Carey. First 50 off 41 balls. He's up to 82 deliveries now for his 94. So one hit away from the maiden domestic one day 100. It's been pretty consistent through this innings as well, hasn't he? The whole way through, same sort of speed and pace yep. in scoring as well. So uh, hasn't really stopped off or had any lulls along the way. He's been really, really good at keeping the scoring rate going. Yeah, he's good in the power play, 38 off 28, hit six fours, and obviously the boundaries do drop a little bit as the field goes back. But now it's up to Kane Richardson here to try and see him through to 100. And he oh, goes wow. over the top, over wide, long on. So not just going to hang around here, Richardson. He wants to score, and he picks up a boundary. Came out of nowhere, loss. So we hear the school siren go off in the background. It might be full time. That's a great strike from Kane Richardson. You know he likes to get involved a little bit at the end of the day, but a bit of a risk to take when your teammate at the other end's on in the 90s. I must admit, uh, my heart was in my mouth for a moment. He, <laughs> he hit it hard enough in the end with mid on up. But um, AJ Ty's a pretty canny operator. Might be a slow ball coming up here. No, it goes back of a length. And I mean, Richardson's always had plenty of ability with the bat. He's, uh, he's a talented batsman. When he puts his head down, he's, he's probably a bit too good for number 10 when he's batting at his best. Mm. Yeah, we've seen him hang around in many games in the past and, and do a really good job of and saving whack games. Yeah. And whack him as well. So two to go. He's just checking with the square leg umpire. Now, the field's pretty much the same. There's only three on the leg side here. So mid on still up. Two men deep behind square leg. And he pops it up. He'll get a run. He's looking for two, but Josh Inglis on the scene very, very quickly. So it's going to be up to Carey here now to get a run to keep the strike for the next over. So Richardson up to eight, and the Redbacks now eight for 174. Hope you've enjoyed this season opener of the Marsh Cup. Those of you taking us on KO and uh, the Cricket Australia website. It's been a cool day here in Adelaide, but we've enjoyed bringing it to you with centuries to Josh Phillippe and Mitchell Marsh. Just bring a fielder back in as well and move Berendorf out, who's at fine leg. Ashton Agar from backward square comes into the circle again. In fact, we're talking third man and point rather. On the left hander. Last ball, the over. And can't get it past backward point. So six off the over. Eight for 174. 30 overs completed. So 316 is the target. That's pretty much out the question. And earlier today, Josh Phillippe, his maiden one-day ton for Western Australia, 137 of 116 balls, hit the ball to all parts. Batted carefully early in the innings. That, uh, that was one of his early boundaries to the leg side, but it was a remarkable performance. He'd made a number of 50s in his first 15 games, five in his 15, and today really went on with the job. Played uh, particularly well early. 50 off 61 balls and then really mowed it along. Three sixes in a row of Kerber to bring up his 100 as Agar continues. And... It was a terrific innings to watch, no question. The way he finished it with the three sixes, a lot of fun. So Richardson here just needs to either... Find a single or make sure he doesn't get out in this over. With Kerry needing six for that maiden century. Floodlights on here. 4.40 local time. Richardson, I think he's just going to play this out here. Be very, very careful. 
Field's up both sides of the wicket and slip in place as well now. There's your offside field, four in a ring. Three on the leg side. So we're going to see dead bat, dead bat. Next two deliveries I tip here. Let's see if Agar can just sneak a little arm ball through here while he's playing back Richardson. So eight for 174, 142 needed, just on 11 over, uh, just on 12 overs. So that's out of the question here at the moment. Quicker one, right on line. So Richardson here on eight at the moment. Nice boundary in the previous over. Field going back now to allow the single. Long off and point going back to the deep. And now, yeah, well played by Kane Richardson. So a maiden for Agar. Seven overs, one maiden, two for 32. And 31 overs gone now. Eight for 174 with Alex Carey on 94. 83 balls, 11 fours and one six in this inning so far. And he's played a lone hand for the Redbacks today this opening Marsh Cup clash game from Karen Rolton Oval. Revised target came down from 353 to 316. We had about half an hour's worth of really, really light rain, but it made a difference. Carey and Weatherall off to a flyer in this game. Pulled up short. Now we're in this situation. Tie again. Slow ball goes down the ground. Mid-offs up. That'll run down towards the boundary. So four more to carry, moves to 98. Two away from the Maiden 100 in Marsh Cup cricket. Well, he's been here a couple of times before. He's been to the 90s about two times prior, I think, in the one-day cup for the Redbacks. Once that 99, as you said, I think the other time was 93. So he's been here before. It's now closing it out at times on his side as well. Victory, not so much the priority now. Let's just get across the line. Yeah, his other uh, score, 92 down in Tassie. Close. In the, uh, yeah, very close. 92 off of 107 balls. And a big partnership with Jake Weatherall actually in that game. They played the Vicks in Tassie. That was, uh, I think, like a prelim final. Redbacks making the final that year against Western Australia. So, yeah, 99 we mentioned. That was last season. And 92 back in October 2017. So a couple of scores in the 90s. Cuts this one. Only get one, I reckon. Oh, they uh, they're coming back. Darcy Short with the throw. And does he make it? Yes, he does. So 100 for Alex Carey, a maiden century in domestic one-day cricket. 12 fours and a six, 86 balls. And a real uh, positive out of a disappointing day for South Australia in this game. Oh, you had your heart in your mouth if you're an Alex Carey fan as he dove for the crease. He just got there, and the umpire's decision was to let him go. A good dive. We'll see it from side on. This is how he brought it up. It was a, a question of whether he'd want to have the second. He took a moment. He said yes. He went hard. He dived real full stretch, and he fist pumped immediately. He knew he'd got there. Satisfying moment. Pulls that one away. Back with a square leg for another four. So 100 out of 180, and another boundary here for... Alex Carey, so 13 fours and a six now for him, up to 104. So uh, the run rate required is, well, basically 12 and over. But there's plenty of interest in this innings. Of course, Shield game to come Friday. The Redbacks will really need to rebound. They're going to be up against a very strong WA side once again. So Carey, monkey off his back, got the 100. Goes over mid off this time. Another fine shot, and it won't quite carry, but it will be four. So, really putting the foot on the pedal here now. And he moves up to 108. Well, of course, the game's not over, so it's time to go. And Alex Carey's made that decision. He's got past the 100. Tick. Now, let's chase a victory. It'll be a very unlikely one. He's got Kane Richardson, who we know is good support with the bat, but it'll all have to be on the back of Alex Carey, you'd think with 130 plus runs still to go. Last ball of the over. And he goes whack for four more over mid wicket. So a big over for the Redbacks, 18 from it, including four fours. And the score moves up now to eight for 190 off 32. Now I've done a bit of a calculation, Sam. The, mm -hmm. I think the DL, or the DL um, 
bonus point scores 252 or less. So right. that's unofficial, but if the Redbacks get to 252, that'll prevent WA getting a um, single bonus point with 18 runs off that over. Eight for 192 now the score. 18 off it. So there's, there's what, 11 overs to go to get 124. So the run rate's, uh, what's that, about 11 and over at the moment. So play smart. Alex Carey can hit a couple of boundaries and over, but it's, it's always in reach. Don't get out. That's right. Richardson goes over the top and he hits a four. So that's the approach with 11 and over needed. Not going to die wondering here. The red backs. Carey's got his 100. Richardson is a good hitter of the ball. And, well, they may well go down swinging here. What can you lose, really? Game ultimately lost already, but if they can give themselves a chance to get inside a little window at the back end, you never know. Drives hard, and another four for Richardson. Pass mid on this time. Pretty much along the ground. So the last seven, in fact, eight balls in this match, six of them have gone to the rope. Well, it's terrific attacking, and they're playing smart too. They're going toward gaps. They're not going too aerial in areas. They've got Gaps down the ground there that they've aimed for and they're hitting them well. So credit to them at this stage. These two batting quite nicely. So the 200 up for the Redbacks in the 33rd over. So the 33rd over. Richardson can't beat mid-wicket on this occasion. Just put in a request to show the scoreboard, but there was likely told by a director that we've got graphics back so I was that used to not having them today but, um, I did the silly thing and asked for that but not to worry all time in the air back with a point green after it can't get it two more for Richardson who's not going to be a quiet partner in this stand now he moves up to 18 couple of interesting overs here 18 off the previous 10 off this over and you can score quickly at this ground saw West Australia in their innings earlier today at uh, 1 for 149 at the 30 over mark they made 203 in the last 20. you got the short boundaries ball you can target we see Ashton Agar already starting to make a few fielding changes he's got Berendorf going from long mid off to long off and now a few out there behind point punched out to cover Richardson, two fours and a two in this over. And allows it to pass through. So 10 off that over. 28 runs off the last two. Carey 112. Richardson on 18. A partnership worth 43. And uh, the best partnership. And so one of our co-commentators has broken his phone is 44 between Carey and Head for the second wicket. So this partnership a run or two away from being the best for the Redbacks in this innings as uh, Callum Fergus is back on deck. Ferg, good last couple of overs for the home side. It's been eventful, hasn't it? It's been entertaining watching. Uh, not so pleasing for some of the West Australian bowlers, but... Alex Carey and Kane Richardson have had a little bit of fun. Top. It interesting. Yeah, sure is. Ty continues. Just a single this time. Into Agar. Lucky we've got floodlights here, Callum, because it's just getting a bit on the dark side, isn't it? It really is. And uh, I mean, the, the addition of the lights is a is a wonderful one here at Karen Rolton, and we'll hopefully enable a bit more day-night cricket to be played here whenever Adelaide Oval is not available. But um, it's certainly gotten dark and it's it's sort of been threatening to rain a lot of the day but thankfully we've been able to get the majority of the game played but uh, i'm not sure the rain is something the redbacks or the western australian teams want to rely on here and uh, from a western australian point of view they'll be frustrated and desperate to take a couple of wickets here so richardson faces tie in the air to mid off and that's out caught by mitchell marsh so a bit of fun ends for kane richardson partnership comes to an end on 44 and another wicket for aj ty in one day cricket for western australia yeah looking for the searing yorker there ty and, and missed the length and 
Richo would have liked the look of what he saw there and wasn't quite able to get under it enough and hit the lower half of the bat. And unfortunately for him, that brief and entertaining innings has come to an end on 18. And the Redbacks are now 9 for 203. So Richardson comes off. Three fours in that uh, brief innings. He did an important job in making sure that Alex Carey got to triple figures for the first time in uh, domestic one day cricket. There's Wes Agar coming out. He's made a few runs here and there for the Redbacks. And uh, I don't think they cross, so I think he'll be on strike here for his first hit of the summer. I must correct myself there, Les, too. It's eight down. Eight down now. No, nine down. Is it nine down? Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure it's nine okay. down. Okay. Very good. You were right the first time. I'm not sure if I'd jump the gun, jump the gun there. No, you're right. The old, um, there you go. The old CAI pad. Let's take a little world update. So Hasn't much. quite tipped over yet. No. No, they've had a long day as we have, mate. Mm. Churning it out all day. Where's Agar? About to face up. Do we think Ashton Agar's going to stay on at the other end? Oh, that'd be good. A, a little bit of something. That would be good. Tie bowls. And well played by Agar. Made a little bit of room to the leg side. He wants two. And Alex Curry says, no way, son. You're not getting the strike, my boy. You're number 11. <laughs> I'm staying out here. I'm going to try and whack a couple of fours and sixes like I did in the last over. That's right. You're talking about um, night cricket at this venue, Ferg. Mm. And, uh, back in February 2021, Uni and Kensington played in the West End One Day Cup final. Uni, yes. 280. Kenzie's 5 for 281. Alex Ross got 114. Hello, Namaskar, you... guys. Uh, sir, if you like your Darkar, if you like it, it will be fun. If you like it, और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करेंगे तो और भी बढ़िया आने वाले समय में जितने भी मैच हो रहे हैं सभी के लाइव मुकाबले आपको इस चैनल पे देखने को मिलेंगे इसलिए फटाफट चैनल को जरूर लाइक कीजिएगा सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और आप जरूर हमें कमेंट करके बताएं कि आज इस मुकाबले में एलेक्स पारी एलेक्स कैरी की पारी कितनी अच्छी लगी और क्या गजब की पारी खेली है और कहीं ना कहीं एक दो विकेट है वो जल्दी गिर गए थे वरना मैच में पूरी तरीके से वापसी कर सकते हैं एलेक्स केरी 114 रन बनाए हैं और काफी साथियों ने कमेंट करके ये भी बताया था कि एलेक्स केरी अकेले इस रन को बना सकती हैं वाकई में बना सकते थे बेहतरीन किया है सिर्फ दो लाइक की ओर दरकार रही है चैनल को सब्सक्राइब जरूर कीजिएगा a wonderful book to get a hold of. So for any cricket fans out there, the Australian Cricket Digest. Hopefully in all good and bad bookstores very soon. Mm. Around the country. So Ty, last ball over for him. Carey, can he get a run to keep the strike? He can. Plenty of room out in the offside there. So another run for the Redbacks keeper bat. So he's up to 115 at the end of the 34th over. It's nine for 207. So nine overs to go. 109. We'd see the Redbacks pull off a remarkable win from here. West Australia looking to clinch the bonus point. But the figure I did work out unofficially, Ferg, was 252 or less. So um, if uh, that looks likely at this stage, the WA will get a bonus point and. Uh, get five points to their first game and first win in this uh, Marsh Cup competition for the 2021-22 season. And I'm sure the, the Redbacks are aware of that and uh, hopefully the message has gotten out to Alex Carey or he knew it before the start of the innings, but um, they'll be you know, eyeing off that total to try and restrict the damage in this game. So Agar's going to bowl around the wicket. Might bowl to his brother here in a sec. As they push for two, they're going to go. Throw comes in from Berendorf and they make it. So good running, good backing up there by Wes Agar. Clearly doesn't want to face his brother as he uh, rushed back for a second. And you often see tail unders don't run well between the wickets, Callum, but on this occasion, Wes Agar doing a good job there. So make sure he got back for a second. Much slimmer Wes Agar these days. It's the pad. Oh, don't pick it up. So hopefully, or by the looks of it, not hopefully, by the looks of it, he's moving beautifully between the wickets there. Where's they go? Has he lost a bit of weight, Callum? Yeah, he? I think he has. He's really, um, really slimmed up. Okay. In the air, over mid-wicket. That'll race down towards the boundary. A chase for a couple of fielders. Darcy short one of them. Just a little bit of chippage there from uh, the Redbacks. 
Keep a bat up to 119 off 95. Yeah, certainly looks like Wes has put in some hard yards over the last few months and looking in great physical condition. Good here. Make sure in this time Carey finds it out to deep point. So we're going to have Agar v Agar. And I do seem to remember in the Shield game, was it last year when uh, Wes was stumped of his own brother's bowling? Just have to look oh, that just, up. Yeah, you've got a book just over there, the Australian Cricket Digest, that you might be able uh, to Oh, it was Court and Bowl. Right, Court, yep. Court and Bowl for four in the first innings. Okay. So let's see if there's a repeat of that. Arm ball or will you toss it up here, Ferg? What do you think? Uh, I'd be throwing it up if I was Ashton. I yeah, I agree. And wide of the stumps. Oh, he's gone the dart. Okay. <laughs> he's gone the dart. Gone for the LB. These two would have bowled to each other a lot over the years, too. You'd imagine the backyard. Absolutely. So, last ball of the over. Oh, a good leave from Wes facing Ashton. He thought he was through for his third wicket. Five off the over. And the latest score here at Cameron Rock Hall was nine for 212. And there's not much in that. Loz, there's not much in that. It was very cagey bowling, actually. So if you're watching closely there, Ashton came really wide of the crease, but he bowled right under it. So he came right out wide, almost under the jacaranda, Darren Lehman style back in his heyday. And angling the ball back in to the right-hander. Oh. And what that'll do to a lot of batsmen is change their um, sense for where the stumps are. So that ball will feel a lot wider to the batsman than what it really is. And as we saw there, that ball, I think, actually went over off stumps. So it had the desire to... Hello guys, इसी तरीके से लाइव मुकाबले आगे भी देखने के लिए आप जरूर चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिएगा अब सिर्फ और सिर्फ दो लाइक की ओर दरकार अगर आप दो लाइक करते हैं और दो सब्सक्राइब करते हैं तो हमारा जो टारगेट है वो पूरा हो जाता है तो फटाफट चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए वीडियो को लाइक कीजिए लाइव मैच देख के आपको कैसा लगा जरूर कमेंट कीजिएगा um, I used to see Nathan Horrocks really varying his arm height at delivery. I've got one for you after this ball. Makes room over the infield, out towards deep point for one. The bloke that you were talking about earlier that was watching, Nathan Lyon. Oh, yes. Does he bowl? We believe it was the GOAT. We're not 100% no, sure it was I, the I, right Nathan Lyon. I text him as well and thank him for his input. But well um, does he bowl enough with a silly point to right-handed batsman? Nathan? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think he does if he believes he's going to take a wicket. And it's the best <laughs> best bone of dismissal. No, nah, fair enough. <laughs> I just thought it just came into my head to ask you that. Here's Kerry again. Built it out through the offside because he's on 399 mm. test wickets. So Nathan. close. Yeah, maybe we can get that 400 very soon. I will. December 8 would be good. Yes. If Australia win the toss and bat, December 9 would be also good. Yes, we'll take it whenever we can get it. Yeah, about halfway through December 9 would be ideal. Okay. After Australia have made about 500. Yeah. Against the bombs. Thank you so much, Sekh Naved or Amar Singh. Acha laga. Thank you so much. Comment karne ke liye. Aur aage bhi aise live mukabli hum aapko dikhate rahenge. To channel ko subscribe kijiye aur video ko like karte rahiye. Bowlers Union anymore. Corey Colliver. <laughs> that ended a long time ago. I think it ended with Brett Lee and Mark Harrity at the SCG. Is that right? Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> I think oh, poor old Hags was in a world of trouble and I think the South Australian captain, Darren Lehman, may have had to actually call them in and just uh, protect his big quick. Did he declare? I think he might have. He's tight. What's the follow-up going to be? Another one. Oh, he's had a good old-fashioned swat at that and Sam Nagoski says, no, boys, that's a wide. Now, I can remember where, in talking about Ashes, 78-9 Ashes, there was the unwritten law about bounces to tail-enders because helmets had only just come in. And you'd often get a point in a game where, or a test match, where um, someone might bat for a while, like a Rodney mm. Hogg or a Jeff Dimmick or someone like a Bobby Willis, and couldn't get him out, so I had to give him a short one. <laughs> Makes room, smashes it to mid-off, and they will get a run. Misfield down there by Mitchell Marsh. I think despite the protective gear, though, Callum, we do often see it go a little bit over the top. And I know the last Ashes series here in Australia it was a little bit too much short stuff to the tailenders. Mm -hmm. I might have been... Yeah, no, it was the last Ashes, 17-18. Yeah, I just thought we 
might have bowled a little bit too much short. Oh, look, my, my opinion stays pretty firm on this. It's a professional yep. game now, yep. Laurie, and yes. it's in every cricketer's best interest to practice to the point of being able to handle this sort of stuff. Obviously worked by Carey. He'll keep the strike with a single, so six off the over. And the latest score is nine for 219. I agree with that to an extent, but I do, I do worry about sometimes bowlers at tail end is being allowed three or four in an over to short. So does that then... Um, Just for personal need, safety. Do we need to then take that into consideration when we are selecting our teams? How are our fast bowlers going to stand up oh, and are oh, they going to be able to make it to the last innings? Not necessarily. I think okay. what happens is if there are laws in place that say only so many bouncers should be bowled, the yep. umpires should actually enforce what the laws are. Uh, if the players... If the bowlers can get away with it, that's... that's their good luck. If the umpires yep. don't say stop buying bounces, that's not the players' fault. So I, I get what you're saying, and yep. I agree to an extent. But I think at times the the umpires could step in a little bit quicker and say, "Hey, that's enough to this bloke." But yep. um, we don't see that very often these days. So. Oh, I think fast bowlers have also gotten better at bowling that ball that doesn't quite go over the shoulder. Yeah, well. and that's the umpires let off too occasionionally, where yeah. it's between sort of head and shoulder height, and they go, "Oh, well, there's only really been two in the over when some of us might think maybe there was three. Mm -hmm. But anyway. We've got a bowling change here. Berendorf's coming back into the attack. Had a good first spell. Six overs, three for 27. Picked up the wickets of Weatherald Head and McSweeney. So seven overs to go and 98 to win. Carry on strike. 123 not out. Did that well. Into long off for a single. And that's his 100th ball he's faced in this innings. जी हाँ भाई आई भी लाइव करेंगे और उम्मीद है आज जरूर हम लाइव लेके आएंगे आई को भी व्हाट दे प्ले राइट नाउ इट्स एलेक्स केरी डूइंग वेरी वेल बोथ ऑफ टीम माउस हटा लो ब्रो संजू रोय ओके माउस हटा लेती हैं भाई और बताइए इशू क्या है और वीडियो को लाइक कीजिएगा चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिएगा just because you take every run that's available. I wouldn't have taken a single then, mm. if I was I lean that way too. Yeah. But Agar does well. Mm. Down the long off for one, so it did work on that occasion. Kerry will get the strike back. But yeah, I think generally that's that's what I'd operate on, especially a game like this where there's sort of 14 runs and over needed. But also there's a bonus point on the line here, and we don't want to give that extra point up even if we don't win the game, we, we want to restrict the damage, and uh, that's my gut feel. I think you, you try and keep the strike as much as possible. Slow ball. We're going to run. Into the offside. So Berendorf looking for his fourth wicket for WA today. Thank you so much, bhai. Hamara koi promotion nahi hai na. Baaki promotion kare hain. Uska alag system hai. Ham to sirf live dikha rahe hain aapko. Isliye sirf live hi aapko sunni ko milega. Main bhi aapko beech mein disturb nahi karunga. Carry on. It's like the day. Happening. <laughs> Benny Hill types. Da, da, da. Little bit of that. Required. So how do the Redbacks bounce back to Friday? You just forget about what happens today, Callum? Or what would you have been thinking after a game like this last year or the year before? Well, perhaps you could look at what the opposition did well and how they handled the conditions a little bit better than we did. That's well hit. And that's six. That's one of the bigger ones today. We've seen a few. So where's Agar? He hasn't given up. And that's gone almost down to West Terrace. What a strike that is. He's a big, strong boy. Where's Agar? We did mention that uh, he slimmed down a little bit and gotten got himself very fit. But he hasn't lost any power. Have a look at this. This goes a long way back. And whilst we don't have the uh, the tracker on to see how far that's gone, that's every bit of 90 metres, I would have thought. That is a good hit of the cricket ball. IPL ka guys, sirf aur sirf hum score hi live kar sakte hain. Match live nahi kar sakte hain IPL ka. Kyunki copyright aata hai, isliye hum sirf score hi aapko dikha sakenge IPL ka. Isliye shama chahti hain. This time, a nice little flick of the wrist and uh, hits it. Not too hard. Finds the fielder 
Down at um, deep square leg. Josh Philippi. And the end of another over. So some fun and games in that over. Nine for 228. And uh, Jason Berenoff got a bit of a lather in that over. Three for 37 off his seven. Yeah, so back to your question before, Loz. I think I probably want to have a look at the way that the Western Australians went about it. Both Josh Philippi and Mitch Marsh were very steady and, and very calculated in the way they went about their innings, particularly early when there was a little bit in the surface. And they structured the innings so well. They Neither of them were scoring at a run a ball for the majority of their innings until right at the end. So tight. Well struck by Agar. It's going to go safely and it's going to go for four. So some real good late resistance here from Wes Agar. Reminded that that um, unofficial score for the bonus points, 253 or more for the Redbacks to stop WA getting it. And uh, a few more hits like that, Ferg, and they'll, they'll stop WA doing that. That'll be the plan, as we mentioned earlier. Just that focus of trying to get a job done, that's the first one. But... Uh, and once you tick that one off, you can start looking further. But it's at the point at this point, they're trying to prevent the damage. Just played that comfortably to backward point. And a fair shout to our crew today. They're keeping the uh, lighting levels of our coverage pretty high. It's pretty darn dark here now. And uh, I think if this was a red ball game with lights on, you'd be definitely off the field. Just after five o'clock local time, would you agree? Yeah, I'd say so. I think we wouldn't have the lights on, probably. Um, things have changed a little bit over the years with regards to the rulings on using lights. Just bumps that into the ground. Single. Nice touch. Got on top of it, soft hands. Good, smart batting. So can the Redbacks have another batsman get into the uh, 20s today? Weatherall 14, Head 19, Kerber 12, McAndrew and Richardson both 18 apiece. And a bit of respectability now on the scorecard for the SA boys. Nine for 233. Plenty of field changes with the left-hander on strike. So Carey, will he decide to throw on Pogo another one or will he be playing for this bonus point prevention score? Hit that well. And a hand on it at uh, cover. Ashton Turner might be there. And they'll get a couple. In fact, Sam Whiteman's Sam on the Whiteman's field. Out there, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure he's off, but Sam Whiteman, they're getting a hand on that, I reckon. And uh, they get a couple. They just had a confirmed Ashton Turner off the ground. Sam Whiteman having a run around. Cover. <laughs> he timed that ball beautifully, Alex Carey, didn't he? I think. Uh, oh, yeah. And. White, he's had a few problems with his fingers over the years, so he doesn't need a broken one. Slow ball, full toss. Yeah, he has. Um, obviously a keeper in the past too. Bit of a shoulder problem as well, I reckon. Yeah, he and Tim Payne were the two that had significant fingering injuries as wicket keepers and uh, were both severely hamstrung by those injuries for a number of years. थैंक यू सो मच गाइज आपने अच्छा प्यार दिया हमें हमरेज हुम रहेद रिजा कमल और अखिल मिश्रा थैंक यू सो मच गाइज लाइव इसी तरीके से हम दिखाएंगे लेकिन कुछ कह रहे हैं आईपीएल के बारे में तो आईपीएल का सिर्फ और सिर्फ स्कोर ही कर पाए कॉपी राइट आता है गाइज आप भी पता है और जो पॉसिबल होता है वही चीज हम कर पाते हैं इसलिए पहले ही समाज आएंगे सॉरी गाइज जहाँ मैच लाइव होगा वो लाइव कर देंगे अगर स्कोर लाइव होगा वहां स्कोर ही लाइव करेंगे There's a drop catch to the poor fella. Yes, so uh, that's into the old uh, fines tin later in the day. Coming to Bancroft there, having a bit of an afternoon banana. So Jason Berendorf looking to wrap this game up and uh, to get a bonus point for his side. He started the rock earlier in the day with the ball. And he's going to have a chance here against Wes Agar. And nicely struck, full toss back down the ground. Gets a single. But where's Agar doing his bit here at the moment? Moves up to 18. And it's 9 for 236.
walk the length, low full toss. Just punch down to long off. Um, it's probably hard this far out from Friday, but do you think Lloyd Pope will get a run? I do. Yep. I think he's going to play. Yep. He uh, certainly bowled well in the in the trial game most recently. And uh, you know, there's a chance that they may play two spinners. What we did see, mm. what we do know is Nathan McAndrew does deliver some, some balance. Ago goes up in the air. Is it going to fall safely or is the match going to be over? It's going to be all over. Matt Kelly takes the final catch. So Western Australia have a first up win here in the Marsh Cup. The Redbacks all out for 237. Berendorf picks up his fourth wicket. There's Mitchell Marsh, the happy captain of WA. Alex Carey finishes unbeaten on 128. And the final margin in the game is a win by 78 runs. DLS method and the WA boys, well, Ferk, they'd be delighted to get the points in this opening fixture. Oh, absolutely. And I think, as I mentioned earlier, it was a very professional performance all the way through. Uh, they lost Mitch Marsh early after being sent in on a wicket that did have a little bit of moisture in it. Uh, it was an early start, so there was a bit of swing and movement around early. But after that loss, they really knuckled down, played good, sensible, but positive cricket. Uh, looked to hurt the bad balls, but were really solid in